Well, today I want to start a video series on the significant subject of theosis. I can't think of a more important subject to speak about. I first wrote on theosis in the early 90s in a book called Christianity in Crisis. Theosis in English is deification. But in Christianity in Crisis, I noted that ever since the dawn of time, Satan has tried to peddle the lie that mere men and women can be deified, they can become gods. That is seductive hiss, you will be like God, has reverberated, as it were, across the ages with sensuous frequency that he packages and he, well, he repackages his lie in whatever size or shape is needed to make it sell. I went on in my book to provide distortions of deification in the kingdom of the occult, the kingdom of the cults, and in corruptions within Christianity itself. And then after cataloging the heretical views on deification, I wrote that just as there are counterfeits of deification, so too there is an authentic expression of deification or theosis. And then I pointed to Eastern Orthodoxy as a classic case in point. In fact, I, I love what Orthodox theologian Vladimir Losky says. This is a quote that I hope gets stuck in your memory trace. He said that after the fall, Human history is a long shipwreck awaiting rescue. But the port of salvation is not the goal. It is the possibility for the shipwreck to continue a journey whose sole goal is union with God. Think about this, this example or this phrase or this quote from Vladimir Losky for just a moment. If you ponder the meaning, imagine that you're shipwrecked and you're rescued. You would be grateful, but you'd want to continue on your journey eventually, and that's precisely what Losky is saying. And in this case, the sole goal of the journey is union with God. The goal is not for the saved to remain within the port of salvation. It is to continue on a journey whose exclusive goal is deification. It is to experience fellowship in the Holy Trinity. And so the point is that deification is far greater than knowing about God as a logical truth proposition. It is the experience of life. Every attempt to understand the Christian message from a solely rational perspective is partial and inadequate. I love what Scott Hahn says. He's a well-known apologist who once said in a very memorable way that salvation is much more than most of us believe and hope it could be. Because, he said, we are not merely saved from sin, we're saved for sonship, to be divinely adopted sons and daughters of God. As Christ participated in our humanity, so we participate in his divinity. And that's the great exchange. In, in the incarnation, the Son lowers himself to humanity so as to elevate human beings to divinity. To put it in a catchy way, in his kenosis is our theosis, which means in his emptying, his kenosis, is our filling, our theosis. And by the way, I think I've already probably mentioned this, but theosis translated into the English language is deification, and it is the word that I want to use in the Greek form to explicate the meaning of deification in a memorable way. I want to start with the T in theosis, which will remind us of Theotokos, who in her person exemplifies the quintessence of deification. Indeed, the kenosis 
of the new Adam presupposes the theosis of the new Eve. The first Eve was deceived. She became a sinner. The last Eve conceived and brought forth a savior. She is the first to have achieved deification and that in an incomparable and impeccable way. She's the starting point of any proper explication of deification and the greatest exemplar of union with God there is, was, or ever will be. And let me say this. Whenever I put together an acronym, in this case, theosis, I never do it gratuitously. I feel by God's providence, just as T is the first letter in the acronym, so T, which represents Theotokos, is the starting point in talking about theosis, again, because Mary is the quintessence of union with God. I will talk about that and much more as uh, we get to Theotokos, the T in Theosis in the first video uh, after the introduction in this series.